Uh, morning, ministers, uh, chairman of the charity councils, uh, charity council members, CEO, president, founders of CIA. By the way, it's only one person. <laughs> and of course, all members of CIA. But most important, morning, my brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, I came here early to speak to you and I realized that many of you all have made sacrifice because you have taken leave as a volunteer to attend this conference. And as a commissioner of charities, I want to thank you and hold gratitude to you. Last year in this conference, I share about the attentions that I will put on, particularly on small charities. And in Singapore, you are aware that we have among the 2,500 2, charities, 1,250 or 50% are small charities. So after last year's conference, I've met up with many of you. I visited you. We have coffee. I attended. Sometimes you invited me for a simple vegetarian lunch. I reciprocate by inviting you for a simple dinner. And we have a good chit chat. And through this chit chat, you have shared with me concern. I listen. And uh, today, I want to feedback to you how we are addressing your concern. Many of you all have feedback to me and in fact have knowledge that governance is important. But then you share with me, while you know the what, the issue is with the how. If I use the word code, I want to comply, but I don't know how. So that's the first concern you share with me. The other concern you share with me is this. I want to comply. I know how, but I am unable. Either because of lack of resources or because of lack of capability. There's another concern, which I will keep it at the end because that will be my marketing pitch. <laughs> Let me address your first concern. I want to comply, but I don't know how. So as a result, last year, from last year onward to this year, we intensified our engagement with you. We organized multiple seminars, talks, some of these seminars are organized targeting at your sectors because your sector has its own unique needs, unique challenges, unique helps. So we customize it. And I'm very happy, really very happy, to hear that community of practice was formed after the seminars, i.e., you learn, you form these small little learning groups you learn the best practices from each other. And more recently, we have also tried out with you on the case study approach. When something happened, an erosion in the industry, in, the, in our charity sectors, we must take it as a teaching moment. And that teaching moment must be quickly communicated to our charities so that Yes, we may be down, but together, tomorrow will be much stronger. And again, I must thank the charities involved that you have given us a good endorsement regarding to this method of communication. Your second challenge is a bit difficult. And that is, you share with me that you, one, you know how, but you are unable. 
So that's why beginning of this year, we work with charities to be the shared services. You will agree with me. If I'm going to build solutions in the 1,250 small charity, inside it is not attainable, not cost-effective. So what do we do? We pull the resources together. At the beginning of the year, we form four shared services that to serve particularly the small charities. One, we form the governance shared services hand by the Chartered Secretary Institutes. Then, we form another shared services that focus on leadership. And that's where we partner with Centre for Non-Profit Leadership. We then realise technology is important. So we partner with iShine as a charity to support you. And finally, we also work with the Apex organisation. And that is really something that we are very proud of together with you. Not that I'm proud of myself, but I'm proud of the Apex organisations. Why? A good example is the Buddhist Federation. They not only serve their members in terms of best practices, in terms of templates, but they make it all available to charities around them, regardless of race, language or religion. I'm happy to also share with you that we are now working with another four shared services. Another four shared services. One in the area of training, particularly in capability building. The other is in the area of record keeping. Small charities have challenges. You don't mention accounting. Just record keeping is a challenge for them. So we're going to have a shared services to help them in record keeping. The other one is about bulk purchase. When you are small, you don't have economy of scales and economy of scopes. But what we are doing is to pull it together so that when you bulk in bulk, you get better pricing. And the other charity, the final charity, have to do with miscellaneous, bao kaliao. Include, for example, pro bono legal advice. Our dream is to put all the eight shared services together so that you no need to go to eight different places to solve a complex problem. You go to that one single place. We call it the one-stop shop for shared services. But my brother and sisters, remember I told you that you have a third challenge. Your third challenge to me, reflecting to us, is about money. No problem? No problem, I walk down. You share with me that donation charity dollars is getting tighter. And ask me how can I help. So I spend some time examining this request. And this is my marketing pitch. This afternoon, during lunch time. I choose it as a lunch time because you have to make a choice. <laughs> lunch time, there will be an optional session where I will share with you the secret of how to raise more funds. So please do come and attend the lunch time session. That's an advertisement. <laughs> but my brother and sister, so far you hear I only hear your challenges. But what about you hear my challenges? <laughs> hear my challenges. My brothers and sisters, my challenges is this. If you need help, you must come to me. If I use Hokkien first, huh, then I translate to English. Because Hokkien somehow or other is able to hit at the point. Lu Bunte Lu Lai Chui Gua Lu Bo Chui Gua Watching Kek Sim Lu Bo Chui Gua 
，路问题，我找了。My brother and sister, I need to translate for benefit for everybody. It means to say that if you have issues, please do come and look for us. Please make use of our shared services. Because if you got issues and you don't find us, I promise you, I will visit you. <laughs> so, my brothers and sisters, today, I hope it's not only about content, but it's about the fellowship minister explain why we are here, and it's the why that bring us like-minded people together. And our objective and our purpose is united. And that is, we want to build a society that care for each other, a society that no one will be left behind. With that note, thank you very much. Thank you.